In a world where humans and animals coexist, there are times when the line between the two blurs, unveiling stories that are as fascinating as they are shocking. One such tale unfolded in the serene setting of Raipal village, Odisha, India. Here, an unexpected turn of events left the villagers astounded and filled with sorrow. A 70-year-old woman named Maya Murmu while collecting water in the neighboring forest, encountered an elephant. The encounter unfortunately turned fatal, but the tale doesn't end here. Following the tragic incident the same elephant returned during Maya's funeral causing further devastation. It trampled over Maya's remains, destroyed her home and caused chaos in the village. The elephant's behavior was unanticipated leaving everyone puzzled. Could it be a case of revenge or a mere coincidence? This bizarre incident leaves us with many questions but one thing is certain. Elephants are far more complex than we ever imagined. After Maya's tragic death, the story took an even more chilling turn. Picture this, the solemnity of a village funeral, the air heavy with grief, and the quiet hum of prayers. Suddenly the mourners are disrupted by the thundering of large footfalls and the unmistakable trumpeting of an elephant. The same elephant that had claimed Maya's life had returned to the village and what it did next sent shivers down the spine of every villager. In a shocking display of what seemed to be vengeance, the elephant trampled over Maya's corpse, a sight that was as heart-wrenching as it was terrifying. This was not the end. The elephant then turned its ire towards Maya's home, reducing it to a pile of rubble and debris in no time. It was a scene of pure chaos and destruction, the likes of which the villagers had never witnessed before. Elephants are known for their gentle social nature and their complex emotional capacity. They are creatures that form strong familial bonds, grieve for their dead, and are known to display empathy. But this incident was a stark contrast to the usual behavior of these gentle giants. This elephant's actions were not just unusual, they were unprecedented. It was as if the elephant was exacting revenge, a concept that we, as humans, struggle to associate with animals. This episode of apparent fury and vengeance was a chilling reminder of the complexity of these majestic creatures and their capacity for emotion and memory. Yet the question that hung heavily in the air was why? Why had the elephant targeted Maya? What had led to such an extreme reaction from this usually docile creature? The villagers were left to grapple with these questions, their hearts heavy with sorrow and their minds filled with fear and confusion. In the aftermath of this devastating incident, the villagers were left in shock and fear, wondering why the elephant had targeted Maya in such a brutal manner. As news of the incident spread, theories and speculations began to circulate. The most prominent theory that emerged was one that suggested Maya may have unintentionally upset the elephant at some point in the past. This speculation, while yet to be proven, sheds light on the remarkable cognitive abilities of elephants. Known for their long memories, elephants are capable of holding grudges and exhibiting behaviors that suggest emotional complexity akin to that of humans. In fact, numerous studies and observations have shown that elephants grieve for their dead, show empathy towards others, and even display signs of altruism. It is within this context that the theory of the elephant's vengeful behavior finds its basis. However, it is important to note that this is still conjecture, and the true motivation behind the elephant's actions remains a mystery. Was it really revenge or was it a misunderstood manifestation of stress or fear? While the truth may never be known, this tragic event serves as a potent reminder of the profound intelligence and emotional depth of these majestic creatures. This incident, while tragic, brings to the forefront an important issue. The respect and understanding we owe to wildlife. It's easy to forget, in our concrete jungles, that we share this planet with creatures who were here long before we were. Creatures who have their own societies, their own emotions, their own memories. This story is a stark reminder of the need to respect these creatures and their habitats. It's not just about being kind to animals. It's about understanding their behaviors, their instincts, their needs. It's about recognizing that when we encroach upon their territories, we disrupt a delicate balance that has been in place for millennia. We must learn to coexist peacefully with wildlife, especially in regions where the boundaries between human settlements and animal habitats blur. It's not just for their sake but also for ours. Because when we disrupt their lives, they may disrupt ours in turn. We don't have to be at odds with the wild. We can live alongside it, in harmony but only if we treat it with the respect it deserves. As we continue to share our planet with these incredible creatures, let us remember to treat them with the respect they deserve. 
because as this story shows the consequences of not doing so can be devastating. 